Hey there, this is Todd at BizLadder. This video is going to talk about Wix forms, how you add them, how you manage them, how you change confirmation, confirmation messages, and how you connect to automations. So let's jump right in, get a little starter kit on forms here. I'm on this page that has two different forms. You can see you get subscribers and a traditional form. So the first thing you want to do is add your form if you do need to do that. So you just go add. Of course, this is Wix editor, not editor X, so that, that will be similar. Contact forms, and then you've got all kinds of different forms that you can add here. And most of these have a similar um, follow up in terms of settings and confirmation messages and use in automations. So we'll just jump right into the two forms I already have added. First thing you want to do is name your form appropriately. Left click on the Wix form, form settings, settings, and here's your name. So anytime you receive an email confirmation, it'll say enter contest and then the data from that form. You can change this, of course. Email notifications, uh, you can click on there to be uh, notified at different email addresses. Um, also note that we actually have, BizLetter now has a text message alert system, so we can connect to your forms on your website and text you every time someone submits a form. Let us know. If you'd like that, contact info will be at the end of this video. So um, there's your form name. You can see this form down here to get subscribers, but it has a similar menu. Settings, subscribers, there's your name. Okay, and that'll be important later on when we start to connect to messages and, and automations at the end. So you've got your forms on there. How do you change what happens when somebody submits that form? Let's go back to this form here. You go to form settings, submit message, you have different, four different options here when somebody submits this form. The traditional, show the success message. You can send them to a site page. That's great if you have a conversion event and you want to measure that event in Google Tag Manager or some advertising that you're doing. You can link to an external URL and show, uh, and, and, uh, show a link to download the file. All right, and then you have, if you're showing a message, you can of course set the time to display uh, on a limit or always. You can change your message here. A little side note, you can actually edit this text here as well and change the text settings and formatting of that message to style it however you'd like. Okay, so that's pretty simple at this stage, right? Now let's take it up to the next level. Let's talk about uh, what happens after somebody submits a form and how we communicate with them beyond just taking them somewhere else on the page or showing them some text. So for that, we want to go back over to our dashboard, to our settings, and you can see different information here, order settings, order email notifications, booking form, okay, that's a different type of form that we didn't show there, but you can change what information you collect on that form. and communications, right? What happened, notifications, how you customize your outbound emails. So this is all related to this next step here, and that's automations. You wanna go over to CRM tools, automations, and let's pretend we're adding a new automation here. Wix forms, there you go. Click that, you can have it happen on any form or specific form, and you'll see those two names, enter contest and subscribers. So you just select one or multiple forms that are going to trigger this automation. And then what happens when that automation? In most case, you're going to want to send an email to them. But you can see, you can do a lot of different things here. Connect to Zapier is especially powerful. Again, reach out to us if you want to really do some third level stuff with your, your forms and automations. And this can allow you to avoid a lot of custom code because you're going to see we're going to run into a lot of those limitations in terms of what what we, can what we would need to code out, okay? So you're gonna edit your template here, and of course, at this point, it's just like email marketing. You can see that. Maybe I can get in there, there we go. Edit, and you have dynamic values, and some of these values, when you scroll down, you see they're gonna be form fields. There's the name of those forms again. So we can actually select data that someone is entering into those forms. So depending on what you're collecting, you can then utilize that in your automation email. So I'm going to go back here. And you can see you have different schedules. And then 
You could even use this automation in a workflow, which is for a separate video. But you, you can start to develop a, a flow of communication after somebody submits that form. And, and not overwhelm them if you have a lot to communicate or time things out if some things are relevant, some communications are relevant for hours or days after they submit that form. So discard that there. And there are your automations. Again, that was in CRM Tools Automations. So that's your starter kit for Wix forms and communicating with visitors after they submit your form. Um, anything really beyond that is gonna require some sort of custom code or some kind of connection to an outside system like a Twilio or a Zapier. So any questions, reach out.